Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I've got some pretty major news for Unity developers, and that is the source code for the Unity editor, and a lot of the tertiary stuff has just been released. Now, let me throw in a huge caveat so you know right up front, this is not make it open source. The source code is out there for reference only, uh, but it's still a pretty major development. So what happened is on Twitter, a uh, fellow named Richard Sim basically said, I haven't seen this getting a lot of attention, Unity has released their C-sharp source code for reference, um, and then basically Unity followed up and said, yeah, that's because we haven't announced it yet. So coming Monday, there's going to be an announcement of the details of this, but I figured I'd jump the gun a bit and show you it now. Uh, so if you go over to GitHub, there is now under Unity Technologies, the Unity CS reference, uh, and it is basically the source code for Unity Editor. Um, and as I mentioned, a couple of the other things, uh, tools, runtimes, etc. Um, so you can jump into the C-sharp code, not the C++ code, but the C-sharp code uh, required to build the editor. Unfortunately, you can't actually build the editor, so this is totally 100% for developer reference only. Getting it is very simple. Just come on into, uh, uh, you can download the zip file this way, or you can grab the, uh, the Git link, assuming you have Git installed. Uh, go somewhere you want to put it. Uh, so uh, Git clone. Grab that guy. It's actually a very, very uh, small package, which is a, a bit shocking, to be honest. So there it is, already downloaded. Um, it'll have done a directory called Unity CS reference. So just go into it, like so. And then there is, um, let me see, projects, and then C sharp. And then the solution file is in here. So you've got uh, Unity reference. Uh, source.sln and this is the uh, Visual Studio solution file for in containing all of the various different sources. Let me just load it up and I'll take a, give you a quick look what's inside. Now this was um, this is new to me. I haven't done a lot of digging in there. Now one of the things that everyone does the minute new source code is released is goes in and finds out how many um, funny comments or swear words are in there and I've gone through a handful of the most common ones and sadly there's, there's not a lot of really fun stuff in there which you know is a sign of professionalism but it's also a little bit less fun. It's always fun to find those Easter eggs. But anyways, here's the source code. You can see it's broken down into a couple of different projects. Um, so you basically, the one that's probably gonna be the most interesting to people is uh, the editor. But if you can also come over here into the, um, the Unity engine, you've got a fair bit of the c -sharp source code available here as well. Um, but the editor is probably where the most people will be looking. So you come in here, straight up source code. Oddly enough, it's not really in the source folder. It's in the mono folder. But well, you can see it's broken down into all the various different uh, bits and bobs that go together to make Unity editor work. Um, so here, for example, is the GUI code. So here's the, you know, I'll go with the most incredibly mundane source scamp I could find. Here is the code behind the scenes that they use for the about um, window. When you click, you know, help about, this is the code driving that. And, you know, obviously you've got uh, quite a bit of other stuff going on here. You can get into the, the debugger code, the uh, media player code stuff. So what's this actually got? Um, plugin, scenes view, you know, all of the bits that actually go together to make up the editor are pretty much all written in C-sharp. So you're getting a full version of the editor. And I can do a build here. Um, so we're doing a compile of the entire thing. But what you'll find, again, this just fits out a library, not uh, an executable. So you can't build your own custom version of the editor. Once again, this entire project is 100% only for reference. So if I head on over uh, to the GitHub page once again, you'll find the, uh, the reference that this is uh, released under available there. And as you see here, uh, right off the hop, it says full purpose of inspecting functionality to understand or improve performance of your game. So this is not an open source release. If you want to have access to the source to edit it, you still have to contact their sales department and get um, you know a custom source license. So that is a completely separate thing. It's, this is not Unity going open source with what it looks like. This is them opening the source to some of the Unity bits to make it easier for developers to go behind the scenes. Now the cool thing is, um, even though this is for reference, uh, we're already, there were some uh, pull requests, I believe, or, or some uh, pushes for fixes already. So people that are using Unity and they think that possibly something's going on behind the scenes, well now they actually have the ability to jump into that code and find out uh, if that is in fact the case. So this reference released, again, it's not full blown open sourcing, but it's still a pretty big deal. You know, it, it's, um, a bunch more information because just given the huge number of Unity developers out there, truth of the matter is too, in a lot of cases, an indie developer never really jumps into the source code for an you know, um, Unreal Engine. Then you probably never built it from scratch or whatever, but having the ability to get in there to figure out you know, what went wrong um, is a huge deal. And I don't think you'll be able to do debug builds against this, which is a shame because it'd be nice to be able to like pull your code directly into this. And maybe that's something they can release in the future. But again, um, 
This is not the full source code. So you see here, if you want to modify Unity source code, C and C++, contact sales for a commercial source code license. This is 100% reference only. Um, so let me know what you think. Is this a really big deal? Or is it completely inconsequential? Do you hate Unity anyways? Or are you a big time Unity user and you know you love this opportunity that's presented? And it'd be interesting to see what the actual announcement comes with this, you know, when they formally declare. So right now, literally it's just a couple days ago, they, they quietly threw up this source code with no explanation of why it's there. Uh, probably the tail end of GTC, pretty busy and such. But there is an official announcement coming on Monday. So it will be interesting to see what their uh, their thinking is behind this. Or or what their intentions are, uh, but yeah, pretty big news anyway, so I thought I'd share it early. So that is Unity C Sharp code has been opened up for the editor and some of the runtime and tools uh, for reference use only for everybody. Um, so you know, there's nothing you have to sign to get in here. It's not an exclusive or anything. It's literally just up on GitHub. So again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right, that's it for now. See you all later.